hello everyone my name is telma welcome back to my channel thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel thank you so much and honestly i'm also actually aware that most of my new subscribers are coming from chilo talks and i want to I want to shout out to the Chilo gang. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're new here, if you're watching me for the first time, you're very welcome. And I really hope that before you leave this video, you consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so um, I made a video with um, Chilo Talks last week regarding working in Japan as a teacher. And I got a lot of questions about, you know, a lot of things. And I decided to make this video to address them to answer them and all and yes thank you all for answering us asking those questions i'm i really hope that i help out in this video yeah i'm hoping that this answers your questions actually so um before i start i was actually led to say this to someone please be led by god this might not be for you moving to japan might not be for you just be led by god proverbs 16 verse 1 says that you know the nlt version it says that you can make your own plans but it's only god that gives the right answer don't do things because okay this opportunity is here just be led okay so that in the long run you don't regret your decision to you know do this or move to japan okay thank you so number one question on my list, I'm answering to no particular order, just answering. So salary range. So the salary you'll be paid will depend on your company. Yes. I believe that Jets pays the highest like um, salary to ALTs. That's their government program, but the program is usually for native English speakers, like those coming from the US um the uk and they also consider south africans and jamaicans so yes so those are the people that usually like go for jets and they pay them really well but for every other company the salary range is a thousand five hundred to three thousand dollars yes a thousand five hundred to three thousand dollars that's the salary range and I must also say that your salary can be affected by a number of things like holidays. So some companies don't pay you during the holidays. Like when um, school goes on holiday, they don't pay you for, you know, they just, just pay you for that month that is a holiday. So summer vacation, most people don't get paid during summer vacation. And also like during any public holiday, you don't expect to get paid for that day. So it could actually reduce what you're going to be getting for that month. Yes. And another, this thing is also city policy. So um, the city you are in can have a policy where maybe a teacher in um, junior high school will be paying social insurance, which is expensive so that can also be taken out from your salary and it could affect what you're going to be getting as well so just bear that in mind and another question someone asked me is can i um you know say, is is the salary enough for me to you know send home something um so if you're frugal if you're not you're not someone that spends money like you can save i'm sure it's enough it's more than enough for you to send home yes it's more enough for you to send home actually and i mean if you're in you are in nigeria and you know how our currency our exchange rates rather is like so you you can actually send something home and it's going to be substantial yeah the next question on my list is flight fare so i am coming from nigeria so i will only be talking about you know what i spent coming to japan so usually when you're coming to japan as an alt you don't necessarily have to have a return ticket to be honest because you're going there to go and leave so why are you having like a return ticket so when i came to japan i think i spent around 400 four sorry 400 yes sorry 450,000 naira to come just a one-way ticket so i will from this i will say just budget like 400 
thousand to like maybe one million naira i don't think he's going to get up to one million naira at all i don't think so especially if it's a one-way ticket and i mean sometimes you will see that um these um flights these airlines run like a promo or they give a discount so just keep checking the flights you want to you know come with i came when i was coming to um japan i came with turkish airline yes and even when i traveled for summer and then i was coming back i came back with qatar airline which is really really like affordable i think qatar is really really affordable yeah so and just in case you're wondering okay where can i even maybe in case just see these discounts and all you can go to google flights like it's not a, like use google flights not like google flight but like that's the name google flights right and you can also go directly like to the airline like go to qatar airline website themselves or turkish airline website themselves which i also recommend because if there's a problem with you know your tickets or anything or plans change you can always get a refund or it's just like you have a ticket to like hold on to for you know for other travels um and then you can use a third party as well you already know that so another question i got is visa cost so again i am nigerian so i'll be speaking um i'll be talking about the visa cost in nigeria so when i applied for visa or when i got my visa in 2020 i paid eight thousand three hundred and fifty naira but currently the fee is nine thousand seven hundred naira yes and one thing the good thing about this is that you don't pay you don't pay any application fee you know you just go and submit your papers the papers that you know that your company sent to you you just gonna submit them to the you know, submit it to the embassy and you know if you if you get the if you get the visa then you can now actually pay the visa cost so you're actually not losing out on anything if you know but another advice is that please go to the embassy with the exact sum so they will not give you um change <laughs> what i mean change. they will not give you change basically so just go with the exact sum so if it's nine thousand seven hundred naira please go with that amount of money don't give them eight thousand naira they won't accept it they would not accept it yeah so um what else today was i asked yeah i also forgot to say so if you're an american citizen you will not have to pay for these visa costs so i think that's the advantage i don't know about the uk or anything but i only know that when i was there someone who was an american citizen did not have to pay for the visa costs so yeah another question i got is would you need proof of funds when applying as an alt so i know i said that in chilo talks but i want to say it again no when you're applying like when you're going to the embassy you're not going to take with you a proof of funds and maybe paper or anything no your company is believed to be your sponsor so you don't have to you know give them any proof of funds but however some companies require that you provide a proof of funds for them yeah so for them and then how much should i budget to come to japan it's a very important question because japan is not a cheap country it's very expensive so um you're advised usually to come with like mm, minimum of five thousand dollars but if you can't make up to that five thousand dollars which i wasn't able to also um, meet up you can come back come here with less than five thousand dollars but see the minimum should please be three thousand dollars you don't want to live on the edge to be honest you don't want to you just don't want to live on the edge you don't want to be having high blood pressure because you know <laughs> your money is going to be going down because the moment you come to japan you're already spending money so please come with enough you know cash you might not have to spend the thing is that you may not even spend 
the everything but i mean no one says it's bad to have like savings you know nobody says it's bad to have surplus so just come with enough money okay then um another question is i this is when i come to japan you know how would i get transportation so it's like transportation like question so especially now in covid when you're coming to japan you're not going to be allowed to use the public transport so you're just going to be you have to have like a private hire vehicle so i i was very glad to have found goal international company so you can use goal international company you can pay them while you're in nigeria with the nigerian currency you can even chat with them on whatsapp they're very good they wait for you even before you you um arrive yes because you just tell them your flight time and all that and they're really there very very good service i believe and it's not sponsored obviously <laughs> yes yeah, so what else and i i don't know if it's necessary to leave the link for gold international company but i might leave the link for their you know for their service what else it's here so um yeah, and if you have someone, a friend that has a car or you have a family or something, they can pick you up, obviously. So where would I stay? Like, where would I stay? So I don't know other companies' policies regarding, like, as in, like, when you come to Japan, what they, how do they provide for you accommodation and all that? So when you come to Japan, first things first, are you, like, in... At the airports, they check if you're coming from like the red list country, countries with the highest number of COVID cases, right? If you are that kind of like you're coming from that kind of region, um, the government already provides like a hotel. Some people are required to stay throughout the duration of their, you know, their quarantine in that hotel is free. So you you will not have to pay for anything. And if you're coming from other regions, I just a little bit, you might stay there for a while, then you have to move to you know wherever you need to go to. You know, so that's also you know, that's also something you should just know. And I mean there's Airbnb, just go to Airbnb.com, you find like an Airbnb, you know. My advice is that you book it before you even come to Japan yeah your airbnb then um how long is the contract usually for so i get these questions a lot so a new school year starts in april and ends the next year march so that's like supposed to be like a one year contract yeah so that's when your contract actually ends where it can be renewed so if they like you they renew it and you for another one year again yeah that's it and it's not so compulsory that you stay in that city where you are posted forever and ever your company might lose the contract for that city so it's like they this company these companies have to bid for contracts in those cities you know to be able to recruit alts so it's just nice but it's not your business all you need to know is that your contract ends the next year match and when do i have to apply i answered that in chilo talks channel you can apply at any time of the year when you get the job you know i mean anytime you come they actually find a position for you yeah so also where is the best place to request that they post me so like an alt job is like if you're nigerian like nyc they post you anywhere but sometimes in the application form they they ask you where would you like to be posted i'll suggest you just put the kanto region which is like the ibaraki um prefecture ibaraki tochigi tokyo area yeah etc so that's a good one it's not far off yeah and that's it then this question i got it a lot and my heart really went out to those people and it made me like you know try to do so much research regarding this particular question so this question is can i come can i do this teaching without a bachelor's degree some people told me that they had like um a diploma hnd they graduated from a polytechnic 
would that you know count as a bachelor's degree and you know i i just really really wanted to help and then i went on researching and i saw two companies that have no requirements regarding bachelor's degrees so they were um so this company one of them was gaba gaba does not state a degree required but it just needs defo or an esl experience and native level english so all nationalities are considered so that's all i saw on their website so there was no like bachelor's degree or anything another thing is another company rather is nova nova is an english conversation school just like gaba it's not like an alt thing so it's like you're required to teach like businessmen or you know gr grown people not necessarily like children so nova is like an academy like it's just like a conversation as i said so they take care of visa arrangement as well housing support picking up the candidates to their accommodation but there's no statement of requirements for you know a bachelor's degree only native level um english so i don't know if this helps whether you try i i believe that sometimes you just have to you know try you have nothing to lose so these companies you can try them out uh, yeah you can really try them out and see what happens as they did not have any requirements maybe when you apply and they get back to you they might just tell you of their requirements and then it's funny because i've seen that in some requirements from other companies they say bachelor's degree or diploma so in my in my head i'm wondering what's diploma it could be that hnd so my dear my suggestion is just apply maybe during the interview or something or maybe when you submit your certificate and you know they look at it and they say oh okay is what's this you can explain to them what it is okay there's no harm in trying don't don't limit yourself because i said oh it's only bachelor's degree just try because i believe anything is possible it might be the one that will change you know the way they see these things you know it can be the change yeah. so that's i think i think i have answered <laughs> i really wrote them down i think about time most of these questions and then yeah maybe just the last thing i wanted to chip in is what's the social media you can join if you're eventually coming to japan that will you know just help you um you know be on the know of the requirements for coming into japan at this time so um we have um returning to japan so it's a support group so if you're coming to japan and you're not sure of you know what what are the requirements now for coming to japan what are their covid laws um returning to japan group on facebook is really a good one to join because they help you they give you all the the you know all the requirements for coming into japan yes i hope this video was helpful i really hope i answered all the questions for real yes another question i got <laughs> another question i got is um is there any chance for promotion no there's no chance for promotion honestly you're never going to be promoted no matter how long you stay in this job if there is an advantage of this this job gives you rather there's an advantage is that you have time to learn a new skill um you just have time on your hands to do the things you want to do because during like when school is on holiday you're also on holiday you your the time like you usually close earlier than the other teachers because you're not really really a staff yeah you're just helping them so you just have time so that's the advantage so think about it very well is this what you want to do when you're coming and if you're about to take this step i'm also going to leave you with a scripture there's no way i'm not going to end isaiah 41 you know just don't be afraid god is with you he'll strengthen you don't be afraid just dive in knowing that god has your back okay okay so i've come to the end of this video please i hope you found this very helpful don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.